السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome dear students to our commercial subjects group for level two. Today our subject is accounting 111 and I'm going to explain chapter 12 which talks about income statement for services business. First of all, this chapter explain the purpose and the layout of the income statement and uh, how to prepare an income statement. At the beginning, I want you to sit in a quiet place, hold your calculator and use a paper and a pen to solve some exercises with us. At the beginning, there are three important financial statements which we need in any business. First, it's the income statement, statement of the owner equity, and the last one is the balance sheet. Today, I'm going to talk only about the income statement. First, what is an income statement? Income statement is a report. It is a prepared for a period of time, like at the end of the month, end of three months, or at the end of the year, or as it is required from the manager. What are we going to include in this report? We are going to add all the revenues in the company and all the expenses in our company. Then we are going to list them and calculate the total revenue and list the expenses and calculate the total expense. Okay, then we are going to compare if the revenue is higher than the, the expense, then the company makes profit, which is net income. In the other case, if the total expenses is higher and the total revenue is lower, then the company is losing money, so we are making net loss which means we are losing our money. This is the, fair, the format or the layout of the income statement. As you can see, here we are going to write down the name of the company. The, uh, we are going to specify which statement we are using. Here we are using income statement, and here we will write the period that we are preparing this uh, uh, the statement for, like for the end for the year ended 31st of December 2020. It means that this income statement is prepared for uh, the year or the whole year of 2020. First, we are going to list all the revenues like service revenue, fees earned, fees income, commission income. And here we will write the amount of money. Then we will calculate the total revenue and we will write the total in this place. After we are going to uh, list all the expenses like advertising expense, uh, repair expense, salaries expense, and we will write down, write down the amount and the total of the expenses. Then we will take a look if the total revenues are higher than the total expenses, then we are making net income. And if we are uh, making or losing money like the total expenses are higher than the total revenues, then we are making net loss, we are, which means that we are losing money in our company. Then to find out the, the amount of losing or gaining, we have to subtract the total revenue minus the total expense. Like this, we will find out this amount. Let's take an example of Osama Company at the period of April 13th, 2016, which means we are going to make an income statement for Osama Company for the period of one month only. 
As you can see in our table here, we have cash, account receivable, supplies, which are not revenues or not expenses. So we don't need all these uh, elements. We are going to focus only on revenues or expenses. So we will go directly to the service revenue, advertising expense, and the salaries expense. This one is a revenue, and these two are expenses. We will take uh, the amounts of each entry and we will uh, transfer them to the table of the income statement. In this slide, we have here Osama Company, the name of the company, and we have specified that we are using income statement. And we have right down here the period for this income statement, which is for the month of April 13th, 2016. Here we have listed the revenues. We started with the revenues. We have uh, service revenue and the amount 27,550. And the total revenues, we will write it here because we only have one revenue. Then we are going to list our expenses, which are advertising expense, salaries expense, and we have to take the amounts from the pre previous table. We will add them here and we will calculate the total, which is 1930 BD. Now, to determine with whether we are having net income or net loss, we have to take a look at the total revenue amount and the total expense amount. As you can see, it is obvious that the total revenue amount is higher than the total expense amount. So we are going to write here net income, which means that the company is making profit. Then to uh, calculate the amount of profit we are making, we are going to subtract the total revenue from the total expense and write down the amount, which is 25,620 Bahraini dinar. Let's take an activity. First, use your calculator and write down the figures in your paper. If the company has total revenues of 20,000 BD and total expenses of 19,000 BD, now I want you to find whether it is a net income or net loss and find me the amount of the net income or the net loss. First of all, you have to determine whether it is a net income or net loss. So we will take a look on the amount of the total revenue and the amount of the total expense. It is obvious that the total revenue is higher. So it means that the company is making profit. So we have here net income. Now I have to calculate uh, the amount of net income the company is making. So I will write down 25,000 BD which is the total amount of revenue, minus the total amount of expenses, which is 19,000 BD. It will equal 6,000 BD. So the company is making profit uh, equals to 6,000 BD. Next uh, activity is a mix assets with revenues, uh, but what, is, what they want is the total revenue. So we will read it, read it all together. Following balance were extracted from the book of Amina. Uh, we have cash, 8,000 BD, supplies, 2,000, fees earned, 7,000, service revenue, 13,000. And they want us to find the total revenue. So I will eliminate now anything not related to the revenue. So I will write down here total revenue and I will go back to my question to classify what I have. Cash is not a revenue. Supplies is not a revenue. So I, I will not use them. Fees earned is a revenue. I will use it. Service revenues is definitely a, reven ever a revenue. So I will use it. I will write down here the amount. 7,000 BD plus 
13,000 BD because they want us to find the total. That's why I will add. It will equal to 20,000 BD. This is our total amount of revenue. Activity number three. The total expenses were 33,000 BD. The total revenues was 22,000 BD. They want us to find whether it is a net income or net loss. So first of all, I will look at the total expenses. And I, as I can see, it is very high or higher than the total revenue, which means the company is losing money. So I will write here net loss because the total expenses is higher than the total revenue equals the total revenue minus the total expense. So I will now write the figures, which is th uh, 22, sorry, which is 22,000 BD minus 33,000 BD equals minus 11,000 BD. As you can see here, it is a minus, which means the company is losing money. It is a definitely a loss. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. We have completed the income statement, and we are going to cover uh, the uh, statement of owner equity and the balance sheet in next lesson. You can go to the book, Chapter 12, or the website to uh, exercise more and solve some uh, income statements. You can go back to your teacher anytime to uh, correct your exercises. Thank you again.